Alright, what's up YouTube? Will here. So today, guys, I'm going to be showing you all the process that I go through each and every time I edit a picture, as well as kind of what's going through my head when I edit a picture. So yeah, I'm going to be doing this video mainly uh, on a screen capture on my computer, as well as doing a uh, voiceover for you guys while I'm editing. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. I've gotten a lot of requests for videos like this, so I know I've done one in the past, but that was for kind of like a special effects type thing. And this video is also going to be the first of many because if you guys follow me on Instagram and you also follow the blog that I recently started, you'll know that I'm starting to do these videos kind of uh, back to back Instagram, blog, YouTube. And uh, the YouTube side is going to be kind of where I show the nitty gritty, if you will, and that is the editing portion. So sit back, relax. This video will probably be. I'm going to shoot for under 10 minutes. Hopefully I can run through everything pr pretty quickly and uh, be thorough enough where you guys can implement some of this stuff in, uh, into your own workflow and uh, hopefully make it entertaining as well. So sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy guys. Let's go hop into the computer. Alright, what's up guys? So we're at the computer now and we're going to be taking this photo right here and turning it into this photo, that photo. So, that to that. Alright, so we're here in Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and open up the image. Now, first thing that I always do is, you know, basic cropping and whatnot. Since I'm doing this 100% from scratch again, uh, my edits may not be like exactly to the number the same but it's gonna turn out looking you know as close as I can remember that I did it okay so uh, first start off with that crop and then double click this straighten tool up here get everything nice and straightened out alright cool so now we've got that something I like to always do is go in here and set the sharpness at 65 luminance or noise reduction at 30 just gives things a nice nice look in my opinion alright and then we hop back here another thing that I do on almost every picture of mine is I bring up the clarity so for this picture I want to say I was at 45 I'll go with 40 alright so we're at 40 I want to say I brought this up just a bit alright yeah so we'll stick there so I'm gonna bring I think I didn't I don't think I made any really adjustments in here to be honest with you I think I'll bring highlights down a bit whites up a little, we'll bring them down a little bit, and blacks, actually I'm going to bring the blacks up just a tad. Alright, so that, does, that doesn't always do anything, I mean unless you have like a native lens on your camera, Photoshop isn't even going to be able to, you know, work its magic on that. Sometimes it can, I don't know, I don't have a ton of experience with it, I just always click it because if it works, it's gonna work. If it doesn't, I mean, it's not gonna hurt anything to just click it. So I'm gonna open the image. Make sure you click open image, or else it's just gonna, it's it's not gonna give you what you want. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys. So first things first, down here in your layers section, you're gonna come here to uh, new layer button, and I'm gonna start out with uh, some selective color editing. I'm gonna go here to neutrals, and I'm gonna turn the cyans, I want to say everything in this picture was pretty warm, so I think negative two there, negative two there to get those greens and whatnot in the bottom. Yellows, I want to say I brought those up a bit, maybe not quite at five, let's do four. And then blacks, I wanted to be a bit black, so have that at four. Alright, cool. So next we're going to duplicate that and do another one. And this time we're going to do it with the blacks. And then we're going to bring cyans, negative 2, keep magentas there, negative 2 there, keep blacks at plus 1. Alright, now, one more. Alright, so we're going to hit whites. We're going to bring cyans. Now, keep in mind, sorry if you guys hear that background noise. <laughs> That's just my dog being crazy. So for the whites, as you guys can see, when I slide this back and forth, it's not doing much of a difference. You can see it up in the top here, if you notice that, as well as in some spots over here, maybe on his hat a bit, but 
it's not doing a lot, so I'm not going to do much with that. Same with the magenta, probably bring that at plus two also. Now the yellows, again, there isn't much white in this uh, shot, so I'm not going to be doing a ton with this, just because it's not going to make much of a difference, so I'm done with that. So here's a before and after so far. So we're getting there. All right, and let's see. So next, we're going to add photo filter, uh, warming filter 85, 25%, that's fine. Make sure that the preserve luminosity is checked. All right, and then next, we're going to click black and white. Click this little menu right here. That it's always defaulted at normal, so click that. I choose lumino luminosity, and uh, make sure you uh, click the tint. And then here's where we're going to adjust the colors to make things look much warmer. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and darken these reds a bit, 22, darken up, actually going to stay where it's at, let's see here, make that green like that, there's no really, there's no, I mean, the, the brim of his hat, I guess there's some blue on his hat, so I'll bring that up a little bit, 95, same here, bring it up a bit on 60, and I don't think there's hardly any magenta in this, as you see it's not doing anything, even if I slow it down, it's at least I can't see it, so I'm just going to stick it on 70. Now, one thing that I did forget to do earlier, changing the hue of the green. So in order, in order to do that, if you ever forget to do that, it's not a problem. I'm going to go back and go to Filter, and I'm going to go to Camera Raw Filter. And that pretty much brings me back where I was before. Alright, so now we're going to go in here, go to Hue. We're going to throw that green all the way down. See how it, it really washes out the green and makes it almost look yellow? Alright, cool. It's, that's how I want it to look. Now the yellows, I want to bring those down just a bit towards the red, maybe 17, okay. Orange, bring that negative 2. Reds I'll keep there. And I'm going to bump up the orange, bump up the yellow, and bring down the green number 2 negative two. Alright, cool. That should have done the trick. Yeah, there we go. Alright, cool. I like that. Just the overall mood that I'm going for in this picture, I, I like it. I feel like, you know, me personally, this picture kind of represents like, I don't know, it, it, it says something, and it's going to say something different to each and every one of you, but to me, when I see it, it kind of represents somebody in a struggle. You know, they're, they're facing the obstacle, if you will, you know, that kind of thing. So, I don't know, whatever you guys want to interpret it as is upon you, but for me, I'm just trying to make this, you know, have a certain, mo a certain mood. Back to the editing, so we're going to add another layer in here, and this layer is going to be the hue saturation layer. All I want to do is desaturate a little bit, bring the lighting up, make it a little bit brighter, plus two, so minus two, plus two. And again, guys, like if you've never edited with Photoshop, I understand a lot of people don't use Photoshop to edit. Uh, me personally, this is just kind of how I learned, so it's it's what I'm used to, it's what I like. What you want to do with each layer, so you don't want to make like ginormous adjustments with each layer. You want to make small adjustments on each on each layer, that way add it on top of each other. Like, you can barely even see I did anything here, because that was just mainly stuff I think in his hat, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. You know, you've got the warming filter, it does a little bit, you've got black and white. That does quite a bit. That one is probably the most influential layer thus far. So moving on, we just finished hue and saturation. We're almost done actually. I just kind of start from the bottom and go all the way up. And let's see. So next we are going to go with curves. And then I like to make three dots here. This is always so difficult. I don't understand why Adobe doesn't just allow you to place three dots perfectly on those things without moving the line. I wish they would incorporate that, or if there is a way to do it and I just don't know how to do it, please correct my ignorance in the comments and teach me how to do it. <laughs> Anyways guys, so what I'm going to do here, uh, bring up the blacks. I don't know what you want to call this exactly, but I bring it up a bit just to give the picture that little bit of a haze. So if you notice when I, when I put it at zero and bring it on up to maybe say 15, notice that haze that comes over the shadows now with this guy. Honestly, with these guys, I just, like, I just move around. I don't have, like, a specific, you know, place that I put these sliders or uh, this curves table. I don't have a specific place where I drag these dots to every single time. I just, 
I just move them around. I, I make my, my couple dots, you know, my one dot here, second dot here, third dot here. I do that every single time, but depending on each picture is, is where I'll move them. To. You know, I just I just see what looks nice. I think I'm going to bring this one. I don't want to make huge adjustments with this because I don't want to make the picture too dark. So just down a tad on that one. On this one here, about right there. And on this guy, I want to bring it up a bit so I can, uh, I believe this is what makes the picture is when that the yellow orange faded out leaves are popping like that looks really cool all right and then I close that and then last but not least levels Need to bring this down to around 245 keep that there put that on like two and let's see I don't think there's anything else here I'm gonna mess with let's see brightness and contrast maybe I'll bring that negative one contrast can be like a plus two yeah that looks fine minor adjustments you can see it down in here and on the uh, vertical side of the wall so minor stuff guys all these minor things add up to this sweet edit and lastly I like to apply filter sharpen unsharp mask and then I keep that I keep these the same. Sometimes I'll change them up depending on what I'm doing. Uh, but for most of my pictures, these all stay the same. So 120 amount, radius 4, threshold 45. Hit OK. Sharpens things up a bit. This is the before, and this is the after. And I will show you guys how I export, just in case you're curious. So I just do a quick export as JPEG, and I do desktop, and I'll name it. And then that's it. I don't do anything fancy there. So that's it, guys. Like I said, we got a before and an after. So let's hop out of the uh, computer, and I will say my farewells to you all, as well as give you some useful information. Let's hop back into the uh, face view. All right, so that is that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the picture, the final product. I'll put that somewhere up here. Hopefully that works out well. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Also, comment down below what you liked about the video and if you have any suggestions or questions or whatever. Also, make sure that if you guys didn't come here from either my Instagram or from my Alpha Captures Photography blog, that you make sure to go and follow those accounts. I'll also post that stuff over here so you guys make sure you go check that out the blog and my Instagram so I want to thank you guys so much for watching as always comment like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out